Hi folks, it's Danny at Brunkley James Classics and I'm bringing you another video from our little spin-off company which is called Bradley James Projects. Now, quite often when we're buying and selling classic cars, it's uh, very important for the new classic car that we deliver has to replace the old one or the one that's stuck in the garage. And for that reason, we literally ended up with several dozen cars which all live in our barns and these are our barns here and uh, from time to time we take one out we take a photograph and a video of it we pop it onto the internet and we give the new owner an opportunity to improve and put these cars back on the road now in this case this is actually quite a rare thing um, it's called a Bannum kit car and Bannum were I believe they were based down in Kent quite well known in kit car circles and you can probably tell the influences uh, from the looking at the front of this car um, it's actually based on a Rover Metro from uh, 1991 uh, it looks it's the 1400 fuel injection engine so it goes well it's obviously a very lightweight body uh, if you get in close, there's a few more clues there. Can you see someone at some stage with the Audi badges on? They've still got them in the car. Um, well, there we are. That really is a clue. That's Metro with TT written on. And we've got a GTA there, which is the running gear. And, and this car was called the Pretender, so I can guess why. It actually is a real fun little car. And we're on private land here, so we have the opportunity to test these cars safely without killing ourselves. Well, I'm happy to say that this is a very up-together little kit. There's actually nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it's been parked in the garage for a long time. But obviously all these cars are sold as seen. They are projects, sold as spares or repair. They literally are, in some cases, shoved onto a trailer and they get delivered all around the country. Or, of course, you're welcome to come and pick it up from Bradley James Classics HQ. This is a very worthy uh, little project. Um, it's not a huge job to put this car back on the road. I've noticed it's got excellent tires all around. The wheels are very nice. There's some real nice touches to this. It's had a new roof fitted, for example. And obviously with that folded right back, you've got a completely different proposition. Now, I've been trying to work out, but I believe those headlamps may be out of the VW Polo from the sort of early 2000s, but I could be wrong. Um, I'll open the bonnet up for you so you can have a look in a second, but she does need um, some TLC. Um, in fact, a, a really good clean and a coat of wax would make this car immediately look a lot better. But actually, from the sort of six foot test as I walk around, it looks pretty, pretty usable completely as is. So that's a Metro GTA interior. Someone's made a good job of getting these seats all colour coded and we've got rear seats at a quite an abrupt angle at the back but you could squeeze two more small people in there for the push. The dashboard from the Metro which again has got this sort of colour coding of silver and red. Quite a fancy steering wheel. I don't know if it's a Momo but it certainly is a where are we at? Benetton Formula One. Wow. Um, fire extinguisher so and a CD player from Kenwood. Um, and 46,000 miles is actually on the dials. Now, of course, we can never be quite sure the sort of genuine mileage of some of these old cars we have. And in fact, this one here would be hard to tell. I'm just trying to find a bonnet release cable, which I have. Um, let's have a little looking here. Um, let's show you what's underneath. So, there we are, there's a road, I'm sorry, it's quite a bright day today, so it's very clean under the engine bay here. This battery was totally flat, so it's going to need a brand new battery because the physically isn't even on the one on the car. This all starts on the button, it's got an old-fashioned choke system that you just pull out to get it going. All of this is very nicely plumbed in, it appears to be missing an air filter, and that's in case that's in the back, but... It doesn't stop it running and driving. In fact, I've driven it here. It started the first time. And there's the badge off of the Rover donor car. Um, I'm going to step back once more. 
have a little look around this car. And, uh, well, I think it's a lot of fun. Not quite sure how the boot opens. I'm sure there was a little catch that the gent showed me. I'll have to have a little thought about that. But it looks as if we've got somewhere to put stuff in the back. Just need to work out how to open this boot. I know it opens because I've seen inside of it. Okay, I think I might have to come back to that one. Um, probably some sort of release clip somewhere. But yeah, very nice interior. A brand new hood. Um, body work in nice condition with sort of a metallic red paint work with various chips here and there. Um, it was last... The MOT last expired at some point of 2019. Um, so in regards to what's required to turn it, return it to the road, I've honestly no idea. But some of the details, you know, there's nice wide wheels and that's a um, painted up drum at the back. Sort of decent looking brakes off a, a GTA Metro on the front. So it looks like it can stop quite well. A good set of matching tires. As I say, she starts on the button. Um, I can't really think of what else to really tell you about this little Bannum um, kit car. Um, it's definitely something which is worth working on if you turn back to its former glory. And I think it'd give you very inexpensive open top motoring. Quite a rare kit car. And. Uh, Undoubtedly, you would definitely look different if he was on the road with this. I do think it looks like a little scaled down Audi TT convertible. I'm sure that's the thought process behind this. But without getting too boring, I think I remember rightly that, do you know, Alfa Romeo, I think, payrolled the Audi TT design. And I think it was Audi who got in late in the project when Alfa Romeo decided not to go with that turned into the Audi TT and this is no doubt a, a copy of what that concept was so it's a fun little car inexpensive project uh, there is a workshop manual for a, a Rover um, Metro the logbook is here has some some paperwork old MOTs so yeah she's in stock and she's good to go and uh, thank you for watching this walk around video thanks folks